high price of materials and everything going up. I've just got my compadre curve here to cut out 600 by 600 piece. And we're taking it over to my friend Brian's house. We're gonna install that in his house. And this, you're gonna save on paint. It's all pre-painted. Happy days. This right here, that's why it was just like that. That's why that was sitting right there, right where we stopped. And it's okay if you have a look, cable's fine, but that's why we don't use saws. That's why we don't have the blade sticking out too far. That's why we use this tool. Anyway, let's cut it proper square. Let's do that again, Kurt. Backup pieces. You guys gonna need timber? I don't think you're gonna need timber. Take a couple of them out, Kurt. Yeah, we will need timber. Um, five of them out. Just leave one for me. The timbers. Yes, please. It is a beautiful day out here, guys. Them greasy bastards. You know they're going up now. It's four dollars ten a pop. Yeah, oh, I was telling you, I saw a picture of a yeah, dude with a car. Yeah, one of those car trailers, how expensive timber got. Yeah, everything's gone up. Yeah, someone was saying they went five. Alright. Here's our board that we cut out, because I was just, we just had another job, and I'm like, oh, we don't have any board. So I quickly cut some of this out of the ceiling that we're doing. And we're going to install it in here. I can't remember if I filmed this last Stash. time. This 275. Two. 420. 420. Um, you want to make sure it's firm enough so when we screw this sheet in, it doesn't break away. Thank you, cameraman.
doing a bit of a combination. 20 minute rapid patch with some accelerant. You don't want to mix it too dry. So if you are, we're gonna get some on here. Now you don't need much of this. This heap. What does the accelerant do? Makes it dry. Record timing. Better than salt. I'm just layering it on now because we're going to put the tape on as well. Okay. So, and just use your blade and go like that and start from the middle, hold one end and squeeze the mud out pretty firmly. Start where you were before, come around, squeeze it out. I can feel it. Well, it's very close to drying now. Tape's bedded. I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes. And this is nearly, nearly totally dry. Yeah. How long is this good for? And this is nearly done. That's 20 minute mud, so it should be good for another like five or 10 minutes. You want a jumper? Next skew, rip is it. You want a jumper? Yeah, hell yeah. All right. Lincoln Bio then. So I'm pulling out a bigger blade for this. It's like nearly dry. main thing is make sure everything's flat and nothing's sticking out so that's pretty scoopy scoopy and what I do I just load it up and then And it sits so hard, it doesn't really matter that we had that, um, that gap. Because it sets so strong, it's just, uh... So we want to let this dry for about 10 or 15 minutes. I didn't add any accelerant to this, so... Give that a little bit of time. We'll put the final coat on and... And then we'll just come and top coat it. All right, time for the top coat. So we'll peel this back. And then give it a light skim. Get a few scoops out. A couple of scoops of ice cream. Vanilla. Ah, oh, fuck. Where every time you pull the camera out, 
fucking shit goes from easy to hard. It's drying up nicely. Give it a light scrape. Still a bit wet. That's why I don't use 20 minute. Because uh stays wet for ages. It's a bit of a mix. All right, that's the patch. Just needs a little bit of sand later. That'll do it. Thank you.